Seems to be getting on okay with young Ed. He's been used to having different people look after him all his life. Have you teaching him rugby league next? Hadn't exactly got the build. Better love a go. Next week, maybe. He's a bit booked up for a while. Nanny's taking him on these day camps, nature trails, that sort of thing. Nice. Won't stop him missing Zoe, though, will it? He'll get over it. Look, you can tell me I'm speaking out of turn, but uh, I don't reckon that you banning Zoe from seeing him is going to help any of you. She tried to poison Charity against me, supposing she does the same with Joseph. Because he's just a kid. She loves him like you do. Look, instead of trying to waste energy trying to find ways of getting back at Zoe, you should be out there looking for Charity. Don't know where to start. She's just disappeared. He's just doing it out of spite. Well, why does that surprise you? I thought that would have been the story of your lives. Well, he's not going to get away with it. What are you going to do? Nuke him? Still my house. I could throw him out. No, yeah. Good idea, Zoe. And that'll guarantee you'll never see Joseph again. Well, I've tried reasoning with him. He wouldn't listen. Well, do you think the fact you've revealed he'd had an affair with the love of his life might have had something to do with it? Maybe. It's not going to get any easier when Charity comes back and chooses me. Zoe, snap out of it, will you? No one knows if Charity's going to come back or not. And if she does come back, we don't know if she's going to choose between you or Chris. And if I was her, I'd stay clear of the two of you. In the meantime, you've got to try and find a way to sort things out with Chris. Be impossible. Perhaps I'll have to go and live abroad with or without Charity after all this. What? Zoe, you've got responsibilities. This surgery for a start, and this surgery happens to be my livelihood. And Chris on half the village between you, a lot of people could get out. We can't sort anything out until Charity gets back. Paddy, I've got to find her. Hi. Where is it? Still for sale. As far as I know, Charity hasn't been around to change her mind, so. Well, are you interested? Yeah, for the right price. Confident you're gonna pass your test. No sweat. Still, what's up there with plenty of go, though? Yeah, well, you're in luck there, mate, because I tuned her myself. I asked Danny, I took it for a spin yesterday. Not to 60 quicker than Jack Sugden can say, get off me land! <laughs> right, well, can I take it for a test drive? Yeah, that's see why not. <laughs> We've only got a few weeks before the tourists dry up, so this is the time to maximise our... Pro We're closed. Didn't you see the sign? It's a strategy meeting. We'll be open again at 12. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I just... still haven't heard from Charity. I don't know where she is. What about barbecue? Oh, Chloe, can you focus on the work? You can organise your social life in your own time. Hey, I meant here. We could set up tables outside. I don't know. It could be a good attraction for the bank holiday. Certainly catch all the passing trek. Let's think about what we need. You'll have to get a move on if you're aiming for bank holiday. You'll have to get posters around the village. We'll need a theme. Uh, we could call it Beach Barbecue. A photo of Chloe in a bikini would be very good. Is that for the poster or your private collection? I tell you what, you two sort out the menu and fix the price. Me and Chloe will get started on the poster. And if you both like to slip into your bikinis, we can have a staff photo on it. <laughs> Any word from Charity yet? Mm, no. Starting to doubt there ever will be. Pity, cos we could do with cheering up today. Zach seemed so happy yesterday. Oh, I know. Didn't stop the memories come flooding back this morning, though. I expect you've already been up there. Where? Butcher's grave. It would have been his birthday today. I forgot. You've had a lot of things on your mind. Uh, it don't matter. Of course it matters. I never ever thought I'd forget him. I didn't mean to upset her. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, no offence to Butch. But a girl that age, she can't spend the rest of her life mourning. <sighs> Two cheese and onion toasties and three specials. Oh, sounds busy in there. Not especially. I'm just wondering if I should cook up another batch of specials. You're the chef, it's your decision. I wouldn't want to interfere. Nick, I'm sorry I snapped at you yesterday. Oh, did you? I hardly noticed. Because I'm used to you behaving like that. No matter what you may think, I still want us to be friends. Doesn't work with me. 
Where I come from, a friend is a friend all the time. Not all over you one day and then biting your head off the next. I said I was sorry. There's no need. In future, you do your job, I'll do mine, and then we'll both know where we stand. Hi. Thought you'd forgotten about our lunch. I had things to do. I've got everything ready. Yeah. Don't you want it? I'm not hungry. Is Chris around? He's in the house. Could be fireworks there. Well, it's none of our business, really. I get fed up with all the gossiping. Sorry. Is everything all right, Emily? No, it's not. It was Butch's birthday today and I forgot. Maybe that's for the best. You shouldn't be living in the past. You've got to move on. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying life's for the living. I'm sure Butch wouldn't want you grieving. He'd be happy to know you're having a nice lunch here with me. You think you could replace him? No. It's just... Well, I'm alive. And he's dead. That doesn't mean I can just forget him. I'm sorry. I don't feel like lunch anymore. Emily, please, wait. I don't want to upset you. So, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's good. Might be making you an offer. Probably worth checking you can get it out of second gear first. Yeah, has Len been giving you lessons? Yeah, a few. Why? Because <laughs> you drive like an old man. <laughs> you need a bit more practice before you test. You have to be moving to do an emergency stop. You give us the keys. So, yeah, it's done properly. Thanks. Any news? Yeah. Hello. Auntie Zoe hasn't got time for you today, Joseph. She needs to talk to Daddy. Perhaps you could take him to his nanny? Yeah, yeah. OK, hey, come on, young man. We'll get you a drink and a biscuit on the way, yeah? Hey, bye, sweetheart. You're despicable. You don't even care about your own son's feelings if it means scoring a point against me. You were the one who decided to break up the family, not me. I'm not going to go on fighting with you, Chris. It's pointless and destructive. And I realise I must have hurt you, and I'm sorry oh, about that. spare me the sanctimonious rubbish. You used to bore me when I really believed you were a saint. Now it's just a sick joke. I know you're angry with me, but I hope, maybe, in time, you'll understand. I certainly don't think there's any chance of that, so if that's all you've come for, you might as well clear off and leave me in peace. No, I've got plenty more to say. Well, that didn't sound too good. Sounds like you've blown the engine. <laughs> Look, I haven't bought it yet. Well, Charity's not going to be too pleased when she finds out. You may be able to cut me off from Joseph, but you can't keep me and Charity apart. She seems to have done that quite effectively herself. She'll be back. She knows we're meant to be together. You're just kidding yourself. No, <laughs> you're the one doing that. If you can't learn to accept the truth, then we'll probably have to move away. You never see either of us again. Oh. And when I tell her that you've been using Joseph as a weapon, she'll probably see that safest anyway. I told you you couldn't keep up in the ante. You'll be chucking missiles at each other next. I didn't ask for your advice, Terry. Your job is to make sure you find Charity before she does. farm now. Bet you're glad to get away for a while. Oh, I would be. But I'm still working. 
Don't ask. It's a... Got a minute. Not really. What's wrong? Nicola, she's been really frosty with me. Oh, yeah. We can hardly blame her. Aye, but I didn't think it'd come to this. Like, she hates me. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Right now, I'm getting paid to sort out somebody else's. What, your pint, Zach? You mean Chris Tate has? I know they'll be on expenses. Yeah. Well, uh, I bet you'd buy your brewery if you could help them get charity back. Hell, would freeze over before I do anything for that little chore egg. Still, might as well sup a few while he's buying. <laughs> You should have known I won't go without saying goodbye. Well, where's your car? I didn't see it outside. I sold it, along with most of my jewellery. I think it's what you might call liquidising your assets. Where are you going? B and B. What's the point? Well, I can't stay here because he owns it. I can't go to one farm because she owns that. But I'll tell you something. I am not being pushed out of this village. I have got mates here. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I'm not going back on the game. Not after the life I've seen. How does that song go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. Oh, I don't know. I, I thought it was a laugh at first. I didn't think it'd last. I thought I'd get what I could out of him before I got bored. But he loved me, Chloe. He really loved me. Well, Chris still seems pretty keen to find you. No, it's too late. The first time in my life, I had it all, and I blew it. I'm not so sure, you know. Well, I am. But, like my Uncle Zach says, what don't kill you makes you stronger. I just have to pick myself up and start over. I'll see you, Chloe. You know, Terry, I was hoping to start jogging again, but Carlos doesn't seem too interested. Well, he's, uh, he's got a lot on his mind at the moment. I'll do a few miles with you, if you like. I expect Bob will be keen to join. He likes to keep himself fit. That's my incentive, too. I want to be really fit by the time my baby's born. Well, look what the cat's dragged home. Didn't think she'd have the nerve to show her face round here again. Looks like she's moving into the bed and breakfast. I expect Chris evicted her from the cottage when he found out what she'd been up to. Doesn't even know she's back yet, Viv. Penny for him. Hey. You thought she were miles away then? My dad used to mend his old shoes. All right. Well, there's not many people do that these days, is there? I know. But I couldn't see the sense in buying new. Breaking them in. Getting blisters. Not when he just got the old ones so comfortable. <laughs> There's some sense in that, actually, isn't there? It's a bit like swimming against the tide. You live in such a throwaway society where everything's disposable. Even people? I know. Some people change their partners more than they change their socks. <laughs> How comfortable we butch. Never wanted anyone else. I wanted us to grow old together. That's how I felt about Mandy. I forgot his birthday, Paddy. How could I have done that? I feel so ashamed. There's no need to be. I suppose you're going to tell me that it's a good sign and I should be ready to move on. No. I forgot Mandy's birthday and all. It just doesn't mean... It doesn't mean anything. And Sometimes I don't think about Mandy for weeks and then... I'll hear a bit of a song or... I smell somebody frying onions and then it just comes flowing back to me. But even if I do move on, that'll always be a part of me. There. That should bring the customers flooding in. I shall certainly give it a try. But perhaps you'd care to accompany me, Charity? Uh, 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 I was thinking Charity might like to be my guest. 
Well, I'm, you've not been here five minutes and already you've got two blokes arguing over you. Well, it's a knack. I can assure you, Terry, that Rodney and I are both gentlemen. Charity is quite safe with us. <laughs> it weren't her that we're worried about. How's Chris? Worrying about you? Well, I'll get over it. I'm not so sure. Him and Zoe are fighting over who's telling the truth. Well, then I'm better off out of it. He's desperate to see you. Look, can I tell him you're here? Tell him what you like. I can't avoid him forever, can I? Thanks. Can, can I, I get, get you another? another? Hey, why not? Line him up. <laughs> Got a feeling I'm going to be needing him. Do you think you'll ever be happy with someone else? I don't know. I hope so, but... That shouldn't mean that I have to deny that I was happy with her once, and I think most people find that hard to accept. I tried to explain it to Ed, but it never seems to come out right. It's going to be a great day. I hope you two will come in. <laughs> well, that might be a bit of a laugh. You'll be going with Ed, though, won't you? Yeah. Um, maybe we'll see you there. Still no word. I found her. She's moved into the bed and breakfast. Why? Don't know. Neutral territory, I suppose. Has Zoe seen her since she's been back? Don't think so. Didn't sound like she wanted to. I knew it. I've got to get over there. Oh, Ed, no, to be honest, I don't think she's ready to meet anybody just yet. But she's got to see me. I've got to sort all this out before it's too late. Well, no, no, I mean, she's probably a bit shell-shocked after what happened, and, um, well, I don't think it's a good idea just to go round there and try and steamroll her into coming back here. Terry, I know how I feel. I've got to see her. A beach barbecue? I guess the time must have always been out since I've lived here, then. Bloody thought we needed a seedling to liven it up. Well, you should promise the latest news in the Tate Triangle, then. I'll get other gossips in. Well, the latest is Charity's back and she's moved into the B&B. &B. Mm. Which one's she going to choose, then? Neither, I don't think. She's been selling everything up, making sure she's got enough to live on. Actually, I expect she'll calling on you soon. Have you sold her old car yet? No, still a little bit of work needs doing to it. Really? I thought you told me you had it all tuned up like a dream. Yeah, well, I had, but... I found another fault with the engine. Hmm. Well, listen, you better hurry up and fix it because I think she really needs the money, okay? See you later. Yeah. Well, what are your plans? Oh, I've never been one for planning, me. Things just tend to happen usually. <laughs> We've noticed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but listen, if either of you two hear of any jobs going locally, I hope you'll let me know. Well, there was an ad for a librarian in the courier this week. Oh, I don't think I'd be qualified. Well, I'm sure that's not going to hold a girl like you back. Oh, I don't know. Being a girl like me sure got me into trouble so far. Hello? We don't want any unpleasantness, Chris. It's residents and their guests only in the bar, Chris. If Charity doesn't want to see you, you'll have to go. No, look, that, that's really sweet of you, but I do need to talk to Chris. Can I have a few minutes in private? Yes, of course. But you only have to call if you need us. Thank you. Well, I said a few minutes. So just say what you got to say and then leave. How's it going with Carlos? I'm playing it really cool. I reckon he started to feel guilty. Not that I want him back or anything. Of course not. You've been great. You need your friends to support you at times like this. I know just what you mean. It happened to me today. I got myself into a bit of a state about forgetting Butch's birthday. And Paddy seemed to know just the right thing to say to bring me out of it. He must know you very well. He understands what I'm going through. He still misses Mandy. Mm -hmm. What she did to him? I'd have thought he'd have reckoned he was well rid of her. Love's a strange thing. You can't just switch it off when you want to. I've been looking for you. I was worried when you ran off like that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was just upset. 
Was it my fault? No, I had things to sort out in my head. I'm fine now. Good, because I wouldn't want anything to go wrong between us. More to thank Paddy then. We haven't sorted her out. You shouldn't have come here, Chris. Well, I'm sure Rodney and uh, Alan would be delighted to throw me out if you asked them to. Funny how men always fall over themselves to, to protect you. You knew what I was when you met me. I never made a secret of it, did I? Enough people warned you about me too. I expect they're all queuing up to say I told you so. I don't care about them. Yeah, well, that's easy to say. I mean it. I want... I want you back. I need you. After what you heard in the restaurant. Chris, no one needs to go through a nightmare like that. I'll admit I was shocked for a while. I couldn't understand why Zoe was telling all those lies. And now you know? She's trying to drive a wedge between us. Uh, break us up any way she could. Well, it seems to me like she's succeeded. It doesn't have to be like that. I've told you. I believe in you. We can get through this together. Can we? I've told you before, Chris. You know, there's no point in lying to me. Enough people have done that. You know, enough men have done that. I can, I can tell by the lies in their eyes. But I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, you, you say that now. We both know how jealous you can get. That little seed of doubt will start eating away until there's nothing left, and I don't want to be around to see that. Just give me the chance to prove it to you. It's too late. I'm sorry. You know, what we had, it was really good, and I was dead happy, but... It's over. I'm sorry. Please. And there's no point in trying to persuade me otherwise, because I've already made up my mind. Just... Leave me alone. I don't want to be with you anymore.